We've all breathed a big sigh of relief. It was just a great arm. Eat healthy food. Eat donuts every day once in a while. Okay. Eat vegetables. Out of a college degree, in order to become an officer, in order to qualify to go to college. A little room with hydraulic jacks attached to it. Or, or orchards would be would be bare. What did they do for the flowers or the trees? What do bugs do? The fly. What man-made thing can hover? Begins with an H. A helicopter. He, wings up and then he, he pulled his wings up. The air came up under the wings and he soared up into the sky. So the water will get the wings wet. Okay. It blew, it through my window. Right, it fell out and it went into the um, flood. Oh, hey, uh, you want to take it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. the first old Hi. Leave extra because if they don't eat it this winter, I can get it in the spring. Right down to the runway. I don't even have to see it, which is really strange. It can be spooky. You're coming down and you know you're only 250 feet above the ground. Yeah, how do you do, guys? We'll do one at a time, though. So let's go over here. I'll take one here. Probably go get one more string, all right? Yeah, you can take it. I just need to glue the piece. Yeah, you can glue it. Steve, where did you get that shirt? And they're big words, but I bet each and every one of you in your own classroom would be Let's get escorted to the airplane by the flight attendant. They'll sit you in the front row. And Ashley's by herself, so they're going to keep close attention to Ashley. Twelve years old. Well, the twelve years old. What? Naroka Champion Airplane. Ah. Oh. Oh. Like you're going to explode. Cool. It only takes a little bit of air. What will happen if I just drop it like that? Thirty-two. Go. Let's push. Pull on the strings, and they discovered something. They could bend the wings, so they went like this. No, but they're going to come to that. They hadn't even discovered that yet. This is called wing warping. It was like, hmm, we're on to something. <laughs> so they went back to the drawing board and they created a glider. Oh, oh, like oh, Hello. How fast you can flap? Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Oh. That much fuel left up to a spaceship or being moved. Okay. What half? The top half is another separate ship with its own fuel that can take back off. You're going to get a piece of food, Jerry. I'm just going to run a speed of blue here. Hey, a TV. Hi, Mama. 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 Third to fifth. First. And first graders, all right. Okay, well, what is the one thing that heat does? If you have hot air, what does it do? Oh, it either looks you up or burns you. That's it. 
but hot air rises, and that's the fundamental principle that lifts hot air balloons into the sky. So they made them out of fabrics. They took some silks, some cotton. Does it work? Does it work? <laughs> He's trying to get in the bag. Quick, get him. The kids are all having the opportunity to attend a variety of workshops throughout the day. Everything from visiting a parachutist um, to seeing hot air balloons and helicopter coming in later in the day and a variety of other speakers, um, movies, video presentations. They, some of them are creating their own planes and flying them through the school. There's all sorts of activities that involve math, reading, writing, and just creativity. So it's a fun day for all the students. This year the theme is a celebration of flight, and we've planned a lot of special things. As you can see, the background here, we have a hot air balloon, and these people have volunteered to come in. There are two companies here and the entire school had to come out and get a glimpse of what's happening. Uh, we have about 42 to 47 workshops, 10 speakers, and it's a hands-on day, which is wonderful for all the children. The children had some great questions earlier. We had a big question and answer period. I think it was a big hit. Everybody wanted to know about how balloons fly and how much do they cost and how they're safe. All very good questions. And then we attempted to inflate the balloon, which we were able act actually able to do, but we were only able to keep it up for a few minutes. Here's a ticket list. Here's a ticket list, Darian. Yeah, you know how to ticket? Board, my friend. There, we got another 307 here. Give me, give me this ticket here. Here, give me this back. I give this back. Here you go. Oh, some of them have them. All right, buddy. There you go. Welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. How are you, buddy? There you go, buddy. See you flight, my friend. You on this flight too? Let's see. Flight 307. Here's a ticket list, traveler. Here you go. Here's your ticket. Hey, here's a ticket. Wait, 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 stop. Give me your ticket. Thank you. This is one of my Here you go, Jacob. Thank you. This is one of my new ones. Are you going to die? Yes, I am. It's flying in the windows. Wait a minute. Of course it's a bird. And they won't be back until... Eight. Yeah. Eight. Ooh. Aaron. At night. At night. At night. Less than a minute. It went 852 feet at a speed of 30 miles. I want to know if the force in my balloon will be enough to power my pinwheel. Okay? So let me put that into a question. 
with this engine on there, I could be going 160 miles an hour in less than a thousand feet of runway and take off. He looked like just one of the bats that they had hanging, right? Uh, questions? Yeah, questions. Yes, sir. Um, um, how many years do you have to go to college to be a pilot? Very good question. holding it on and when he pulls on that. All right, let's go now to our paper magic. Paper magic. Place under it and then hit. And you circle the flowers. Uh, all the teachers and staff uh, did tremendous activities. And we had a lot of visitors coming from the outside. The highlight today was when we had the hot air balloon. And I've never seen the children so excited. And it's about 10 minutes or two now. And I'm getting ready to go outside because we told the children we're going to have another surprise. And the surprise is going to be a helicopter. So, and the, the weather has been great. So all around it's just been a perfect day. I like to do the tetrahedron kites because you get to wrap tissue paper around straws and it's really cool. I like to race the balloons. Hanging out with your buddy Pat. One of my favorite things were when I went upstairs to the reading room and I made these tetrahedron kites. Um, mine was doing this flying a fighter jet. We got the a fighter guy came and talked to us about how it was a flying a fighter jet. Balloon jets, um, traveling kites, and talking about airplanes.
gas engine in it that works very similar to the way an automobile uh, works. It just runs on auto. got to talk to a fighter uh, F16 fighter pilot and he showed us what it would be like to be inside of a F16 the hot air balloon okay. uh, miss birds class we made bee thingies that you put on your face we learned a lot about jets and we had a guy named Joe and he talked about his jet that he had to ride. Yeah, it was really, it was one of the best days. Um, the surprise was the helicopter. I did a windmill and a paper clip hangs down. And I went to the library as a scientist. We put a balloon in a bottle.